Hey guys, it's Hannah, and today I'm coming to you with my Book Expo book haul. beginning of June, I attended Book Expo, aka BEA, because they now changed the name. But it is a publishing convention that takes place in New York City, and I got to attend this year, and I was super, super excited to go, and I had such a fantastic time. I also attended BookCon that weekend, which was just another wonderful experience. I got to see so many of my friends for the first time from here on BookTube. I got to meet so many of you guys, which was such an unbelievable experience, and it was so much fun for me. I mentioned on like Twitter or Instagram or something that I was going to vlog the event, and I tried vlogging. I did it for like maybe two days and then I just kind of gave up because I just couldn't do it anymore. It was too stressful. I don't have a vlogging camera. I only have my DSLR and it's really heavy to carry around every single day when you're also carrying around a big bag of books. So I didn't get much vlog footage. So if I have any usable bits and pieces, I'll do like a montage at the beginning or end or something of this video. But I didn't unfortunately get to vlog enough to do like a whole vlog for the whole week. So I'm sorry about that. I know a lot of you have asked me to do some more vlogs, but it just like really isn't for me. And until I get like a vlogging camera, I don't really know when I'm gonna start doing that. But back to the convention, I had such a fantastic time at Book Expo, getting to meet so many of my friends, like I said, and getting to get so many wonderful books, which I'm really excited to share with you all. And also BookCon was just so fantastic because meeting so many of you was absolutely surreal and you were all so kind. So many of you asked to take pictures and came up and said hi. There's so many of them that are just posted on Instagram and Twitter and I've like saved all of them because they make me so happy. So to any of you who came up and said hi or took a picture with me, at BEA or BookCon. Thank you so, so much for doing that. And thank you for watching my videos and just for being so supportive of me. It means the absolute world. And you guys just make all of this feel real. And I cannot thank you enough for that. But all of my sappiness aside, this is a book haul because I do have several books to show you all from Book Expo. And I have some fun stories that go along with some of them that I'm excited to share with you all. So without any further ado, let's get into my 2017 Book Expo book haul. The very first book that I got at Book Expo is none other than Zenith by Sasha Alsberg and Lindsay Cummins. And this book is set to release January 16th, 2018. I was actually rooming with Zoe from Read by Zoe and Sasha from A Book Utopia throughout Book Expo and Book Con. So it was really fun getting to hear Sasha like talk about her book. And she's so excited about writing it and her excitement makes me really excited to read it. From what I've gathered about it, it is a sci-fi story that is set in space and we follow around our main character named Andy, who is a space pirate, I believe. Now I don't usually read a lot of sci-fi and that's not because I don't like sci-fi, just for whatever reason, I don't pick it up as often as like fantasy. So I'm really intrigued by this one because I love the concept of pirates and I love reading anything pirate related. So I'm excited to see how that translates into like space. So with space pirates, because that could be really, really fun. Also, like I said, hearing Sasha talk about this book and how excited she is about it has made me more excited to read it. So I really can't wait to dive into this and see how epic it really is. The next book that I got at Book Expo was probably my most anticipated book for the entire week. Like this was the one that I wanted. If I got nothing else, I needed this book. And I was so, so happy because we were like first in line to get this one and I'm just oh, I'm so happy to have it in my hands and that book is All the Crooked Saints by Maggie Steve Otter. This book is set to release October 10th and it is Maggie Steve Otter's newest book. It is not related to the Raven Cycle. It's a standalone novel. Quite honestly I don't know all that much about it. I'm mostly so excited for this because it's a Maggie Steve Otter book and I love the Raven Cycle so much so I'm really excited to read some more of her writing but from what I've gathered from the summary it takes place in Colorado in the 1960s I believe and we follow around this family who has the ability to perform miracles so they have some sort of like magical powers and we follow around these three cousins one of them who doesn't have feelings another one who has his own radio show and another one who performs miracles for other people but never for himself that's all I really know about it and I don't want to know too much more because I just kind of want to be surprised by the plot but I cannot wait to start this one I absolutely adore Maggie Stewater's writing like I said and I'm really hoping that this is gonna be another all-time favorite 
The next arc that I got, I actually didn't get myself. Brandon from Brandon the Book Addict got two of them and he just gave me his other one because he knew I also wanted it. So thank you so much Raisin Brand for getting me this book. <laughs> but that book is The Cruel Prince by Holly Black. And this book is set to release January 2018. I've actually already started reading this one and I'm really enjoying it so far. This book follows the story of this girl named Jude and her two sisters whose parents are murdered and they are torn away from the human world and brought into the fairy world. Jude's oldest sister is actually half fairy and then Jude and her twin are both human but they are also brought to live in the whole fairy world and it takes place 10 years after their parents are murdered and they've kind of adjusted to the fairy world but since they're human they're still very much ostracized. I'm about five or six chapters into it so far and like I said I'm really enjoying it. It has a very fantastical feel so far and I love having a fairyland to go to because I love fairies and hopefully once I finish I still really enjoy it. The next book that I got is The Dreadful Tale of Prosper Redding and this book comes out in September 2017. This is Alexandra Bracken's newest novel and it is a middle grade novel I believe. I know the cover on this one isn't final but I absolutely love the cover of the arc. It's like so shiny and I love the font. It's just so so pretty. This book follows the story of this boy named Prosper who is from the Redding family but he is very unexceptional. <laughs> Until one day he discovers that there is actually a demon inside him because his great 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 grandfather made a deal with some demon and he actually broke that deal and now Prosper has to deal with the consequences of having a demon inside of him. And now this demon wants to get revenge on this entire family for breaking this deal and Prosper has to deal with this situation. Like I mentioned this is a middle grade novel and I haven't read much middle grade for a very long time so I was really really excited to hear about this one's release because I love the Passenger duology by Alexandra Bracken so I'm really excited to see how her writing translates to middle grade. And the premise of this story just sounds like a lot of fun and it sounds very magical which is what I love so I cannot wait to dive into this one. The next book that I got is actually the only one that I was not intending to get. I was just in line for Zenith and they were handing this one out as well so I decided to get it too. And that book is All Rights Reserved by Gregory Scott Katsoulis. I think that's how you say his name. Like I said I was not intending on getting this book at all. I had never even heard of it before but after I got it and I was reading the synopsis on the back it sounds so fascinating. I'm just gonna read the little blurb at the top to you all. It says, in a world where every word and gesture is copyrighted, patented, or trademarked, one girl elects to remain silent rather than pay to speak, and her defiant and unexpected silence threatens to unravel the very fabric of society. Like that just sounds so, so cool. So essentially in this world, in order to speak, you have to pay for it. And this girl just decides that she's not going to speak at all anymore. And that kind of just messes with the entirety of the way their society functions. And I think this will be just such a fascinating look at speech and the way that we use speech and how our society is dependent upon it. So even though this one was not on my radar, I'm really, really happy to have it now because it sounds like it's going to be so good and I actually cannot wait to start reading it. The next book that I got is Release by Patrick Ness. And this book is set to release in September 2017. I actually have no idea what this one was about. I just knew they were giving out a Patrick Ness book and I was waiting in line already for a different book. So I grabbed this one too. This book follows the story of this boy named Adam whose life is kind of falling apart around him. He's dealing with his deeply religious family, a terrible boss at work, and unrequited love from his ex-boyfriend. The only two constants in his life are his new boyfriend Linus and his best friend Angela, and that's the only thing that's kind of keeping him going. But in the midst of all of this, all the way across town, a ghost ends up rising from this lake, and now Adam has to deal with this situation. I'm not 100% sure if this is like a contemporary with some magical aspects to it. The concept of those two things mixed together is everything that I love, so I'm super excited for this book. I also love Patrick Ness's storytelling. His books are always so heart-wrenching, and I'm hoping that this one falls along the same lines. Okay, so these next few things aren't actually books, but I just wanted to show them to you all because I got them at Book Expo and Book con and they're just so so beautiful and I needed to share them. <laughs> the first few things I have here are these bookmarks which were given to me by Magical Make Believer on Instagram and she was just handing out some of her bookmarks and just like telling people about her Etsy shop that she is opening up and can we just talk about how beautiful these are? I'll start with these two first. These are Kel and Lila from the Darker Shade of Magic trilogy which you all know that I love so so deeply. It's one of my favorite series. The Lila one has a quote on it that 
says she bent most of the rules, she broke the rest. And the Kel one says Kel wore a very peculiar coat, which is the first line of the book. But these two are just so beautiful and I absolutely adore them. There's also this darker shade of magic one, which says Ostravas, which is also so beautiful. And then there is this Harry Potter one, which says I can teach you to bottle fame, brew glory, even stop her death. And the art on this one is just to die for. It's like watercolor and then the writing on it is just so beautiful. Like I wish my handwriting could look like this but it's just, it's so nice. I'm in love with these. So yeah, I'll definitely make sure to leave her Instagram and Etsy shop down in the description box if you'd like to check it out. And I'd highly recommend it because these are fantastic quality and they're just so beautiful. The next thing that I got was from another person who was just handing out some of the things that they create from their Etsy shop. And it was from this girl who has this Etsy shop, which I think is called Letters to My Book Boyfriend. And basically what she does is she writes letters from a character to another character from different book series. This one, is a letter from Kaz to Inej. And can we just like take a moment? <laughs> you all know how much I love the Six of Crows duology and Kaz and Inej are probably my favorite ship from that entire series. I haven't opened this yet because I've been waiting to do it on camera. So I don't even know what this says. So let's just do it right now and potentially watch me cry. <laughs> oh, okay. So there's a business card in here for her Instagram, which is bookified. So I will leave that link in the description box if you'd like to go and check her out on Instagram. Okay, but this is the letter. It's wrapped with this little tissue paper. So let's open it up and see it. Okay. I I just read it and can we just like look at this for a second it's so cute and beautiful I don't want to show it for too long because I don't want anyone who hasn't read the series to like read it yet but oh my god oh my god this is so cool. I'm so excited about this. So yeah, I'll definitely leave her Instagram linked in the description box if you'd like to go and check it out. I know she has them for like several characters and I just think they're so much fun. And the last non-book thing that I got at BookCon were these postcards from the Shadowhunter Chronicles from the Dark Artifices specifically. So we have like all the different character cards, but they're like actually postcards and they're so gorgeous. They had like a whole Shadowhunters photo booth and everything. And we took a bunch of pictures there and it was so much fun. And then they were also giving out these cards and some pins and I really wanted these so we went and waited in line for them. I don't want to show all of them because if you haven't read Lady Midnight or Lord of Shadows yet some of them can be a little bit spoilery so I can't show you a couple of them but they're just so wonderful and I'm so excited to just display them on my Shadowhunter shelf. All right so now getting back into the books the next one that I have here is Dear Martin by Nick Stone and this book is set to release in October. This is a debut YA novel which is said to be somewhat similar to The Hate You Give because it is also inspired by the Black Lives Matter movement. It follows the story of this boy named Justice who is at the top of his class and he is ready to go to an Ivy League school once he graduates. But one day he is handcuffed by a police officer and then he has to deal with the ridicule from his classmates. And he's trying to find a way to reason with all of it and cope with it until one day he is also driving down the road with one of his friends and they are shot at by police officers, but then the blame is put on Justice himself. Clearly the book deals heavily with the topic of race relations in the US and I am just so excited excited to read this book. I have a feeling that I'm really going to enjoy this book and it's going to be deeply moving and I cannot wait to start it. The next book that I have here is another book that I was very highly anticipating and that is They Both Die at the End by Adam Silvera. And this book is set to release in September 2017. I'm actually currently reading History is All You Left Me by Adam Silvera, which is my first Adam Silvera book and I'm loving that one so far. So I'm so, so excited to have this copy as well. As the title suggests, this book follows the story of these two boys who are both going to die at the end of the day. From from what I gather, this book takes place in kind of a futuristic setting and it follows the story of these two boys who are on their very last day or their end day of life. And the two of them want to spend this last day with a friend even though they're complete strangers. There's an app for that and it can connect the two of them and it does and they go on this adventure on their very last day of life. It sounds like it's going to be absolutely heart-wrenching, but I love the premise and it sounds right up my alley, so I cannot wait to read this one. The next book I have here is one that I was so excited to get because I didn't even know that it was going to be at Book Expo, and then when I found out that it was there, I knew that I had to get my hands on it. And that book is Witchwood by Tahara Mafi. And this book is set to release November 2017. As some of you may know, I am not the biggest fan of the Shatter Me trilogy, which is Tahara Mafi's like most popular book series, but I do really like her writing style and I wanted to read some more of her work and then when furthermore came out I just wasn't too into the premise of that one so I didn't decide to pick it up but then I heard that she was coming out with a new dark 
Persian fantasy, and I was so excited. <laughs> if you didn't know, I am ethnically Persian, so every time I see a book that has representation of that, I get really excited to read it because I never really see it. So whenever I do, I immediately want to pick that book up. And Tahar Mafi herself is also Persian, so it's inspired by her own childhood and like the stories she heard growing up and everything. The cover of it is also just absolutely gorgeous, and all I really know about the plot is that it's about a girl who washes dead bodies, which like, that sounds awesome, and I'm so into this. So yeah, I will definitely be reading this one very, very soon and giving you guys all my thoughts because I just can't wait to read this anymore. It just sounds so, so good. So I only have two more things to show you all, and the first one is this gorgeous, gorgeous sampler of The Language of Thorns by Leigh Bardugo. If you didn't know, The Language of Thorns is a kind of novella companion to the Grisha trilogy and the Six of Crows duology. It's the stories that are set in the Grisha universe, so kind of like the stories that the characters in these books would have heard growing up. And that sounds so fantastic to me and I'm so, so excited for like the finished copy to come out so I can read them all. But this is still a beautiful, beautiful sampler. It's fairly short. I think it probably contains like one or two of the stories, but it is illustrated and it's just gorgeous. So like, if this is the sampler, I can't even imagine what the finished copy is gonna look like. But yeah, I'm very happy to have this. And like I said, I cannot wait for that finished copy because I already know I'm going to love it. And finally, the very last book that I have here is probably one of the most exciting exciting ones because I have the most exciting story that goes along with it, and that is Wonder Woman by Leigh Bardugo. And this book is coming out in August 2017. So we waited in line for this book for about two hours probably, and we had created like an unofficial line because they weren't officially lining people up yet, and we'd organized ourselves and we were all near the front and everyone was happy with their place in line and everyone was good. And then at one point someone tried to come over and tell us that this is the unofficial line, so we're not actually going to be in this order people in the back can come to the front when they make the official line and it was gonna turn us into a mob and I don't know why they were doing that when we were already like perfectly fine and organized but you know and then eventually I think they realized that they were wrong and they would have been mobbed if we hadn't stayed in that line so then they handed out the tickets and everyone was fine and then everyone started going up and I was like the last person in our like group of friends who were together and this one was actually a signing so Lee Bardugo was there signing the books as they were giving them out unlike some of the other ones where there weren't signings so Lee Bardugo was already there and you guys know how much I love her and how excited I was to begin with to see her just in general. So then it's finally my turn and I go up and I go there and she's signing the book and she sees me and she says, oh, hi, it's so good to see you in person. I watch your videos. Lee Bardugo watches my videos. And when she told me that, I like melted inside and I did not know how to react. I was probably extremely embarrassing, but like I didn't know how to respond. So I was like, oh, uh, thank you. Like, that's so nice of you. I don't even know what I said. But she was like, yeah, I only really know you by your screen name, a clockwork reader, but it's really nice to meet you, Hannah. And I was like, oh, thanks. It's nice to see you. And I'd actually met her before at like a previous signing when Crooked Kingdom had come out. And then we talked about it for a little bit. And she was like, thank you so much for your support of the series. It means so much. And I was like, thank you so much for writing such wonderful books. And then I left and I like, I almost passed out because I was so excited. <laughs> So yeah, that's just like my little story that goes along with getting this book and I had to share because I'm still not over it. But she did sign it to Hannah with her beautiful signature in a gold Sharpie and it just goes so well with the aesthetic of the book. But nonetheless, I'm still so, so excited to have this book and to read it. I watched the Wonder Woman movie while I was in New York actually and it was so fantastic and I love Wonder Woman to begin with and the movie just made me love her even more and now I just wanna read this because I know I'm also going to enjoy it because A, Leigh Bardugo wrote it and B, it's Wonder Woman, so how could I not love it? <laughs> all right guys, so that is it for my Book Expo book haul. I hope you all enjoyed watching this video. A huge shout out and thank you to Book Expo for hosting this event every year and for letting us all come and get such wonderful books to read and review for you all. I'm so, so excited, like I said, to read all of these books. They all sound so fantastic and I cannot wait to share my thoughts. Again, to anyone who came up to me during BookCon or BEA, thank you so much for saying hi and for being so supportive and kind. It means the world to me. To everyone else that I met there, all of the other lovely booktubers and bookstagrammers, thank you so much for being nice to me and for being my friend, for not making me feel like I am a loner and a weirdo because that's how I feel all the time anyway, but you are all so welcoming and kind and I had such a fantastic time. If you would like to follow me on any of my social media, all of my links are in the description box as always, but thank you all so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed and I will see you all in my next video. Bye!